Here's my Walmart tarp. Which I will use as my, uh, I will sleep on tonight. So, I tied down the I tied down the four corners of this. And uh, I left it open on the edges so that I could reach in and fluff things up if I needed to. Uh, more Canadian jam knots here. Now I've got two wool blankets here. I don't know exactly what they are. Maybe somebody could help me out with this. They both are white with red stripes. Whoops, here we go. They have this symbol on them. Uh, U.S. Medical. I don't know what time they come from or where they were made or what era, but uh, there we go. I'm going to go fill this bag, this bag here with pine needles, shove it inside this old nylon tent bag and tie that off and be my pillow. I guess this thing's getting a little uh, torn, huh? Okay. Let's give it a shot. Oh, okay. Gonna sleep well tonight. You know, the thing about this one versus that one, I made that one for multiple people. This one here is going to be good for one person. If I was going to use it a little more permanently, I'd use something other than this 2 mil plastic. Maybe later I'll cover it with a, a cheap blue tarp or something. But for the improvised thing, I can't use a tarp. Um, but I think that this size, with this plastic closed, uh, at night will be easier to retain heat. Sleeping in that one by myself... Uh, it's pretty big inside, you know, uh, dimensions. So I really needed a decent fire to keep it warm. It dropped into the 40s. And my body, uh, you know, but this one here, I think that with a fire in front of it this size, if I had a space blanket, it'd be super. I don't want to, I don't have an extra space blanket, and I don't want to take the one out of that. So, um, but I think this will be cozy to sleep in. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this fire around. I'm going to use the same fire pit I did before to sort of jury-rig it and uh, make it work so that this camp uh, is diagonal across this so it can be used by both by both camps. Okay? You know, the funny thing is, these bricks, I didn't bring them here. Um, when I was putting this together, I was driving 
one of the pegs over in that corner and I hit something hard and it moved some so I dug and I found a brick and there was actually a semicircle of bricks buried underground right there so whoever was here before uh, had some sort of fire pit here a long time ago it's since been covered by debris So I'm just going to, from corner to corner here, like that, I'm going to put my fire reflector here so that this fire will reflect into both shelters if I want to use it that way. I need a digging stick, I guess. I discovered the last time I was here that this ground is uh, flammable on the top. So I have to dig down to some mineral sand, mineral earth before I can start a fire here. So one good step to this, and one step to that. This just keeps it from the bottom of the reflector. That way I don't have to... It gives me a set distance to keep the reflector from it. I don't have to worry about it burning. Okay, my batoning stick. Here it is.
good enough. Again, some Canadian jam knots here. And just tie a stopper knot in that. Canadian jam now with a stop knot. There we go. Um, I can sit on it with my feet off the ground. I can get on it in push up position. It's nice and secure. Here is uh, my fire reflector and my fire pit. And I set this up diagonally so it matches that corner to that corner. So it should equally reflect between the two of them. Awesome. Let's start a fire, I guess. So my fire area is all set.